just heard something. <laughs> well, it appears this young man has just torn his MCM. How do you know that, Doctor? Well, you see. Your leg is all swollen. So pretty much, Ty, due to friction, his foot got caught on this rock, on this very small rock, and his foot stopped moving. But due to Newton's first law of inertia, his body kept moving while his foot stayed still, and 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 he ended up like this, and his leg went sideways. And over here, you can see like inside of the knee, and the MCL is that fourth one on the right, no left side. And I promise it's not bacon, but pretty much it got torn, and his it it, it enabled his knee to go like that. Um, I think it's it's a little bit different for some people, but I know it can take up to six Three, months. Two. Just make sure when you're playing the sport, you build up your fitness first, your, your, your um, all around fitness. So if you're playing soccer, you want to make sure you're doing lunges, squats that are strengthening your quads and your hamstrings. Alright, you would basically have a very sharp pain in your knee if or something is twisted, if you're twisted wrong as you're playing sport. You could do various sports, but most, most likely it's either a sport that you're playing on the court or on a grass field. The MCL, being the most commonly injured ligament, means we must learn how to treat it, just in case. I prefer the rice system. But you may ask yourself, what the bananas is the rice system? The rice system is rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Now you really know how to rice. To prevent an MCL tear, you must warm up, rest, do balancing exercises, and stretch. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed.